and you know how you start cleaning and you get totally distracted by what you find when you're cleaning I'm here but I'm cleaning picking up putting up getting ready for the next stages but thank you so much for stopping in this morning I'm trying to get the camera moved because we have a whole other project to start today good morning I'm Diane Pruitt we're in the messy studio at two girls treasure where there is so much work going on and it's very exciting it's Thursday we have the 2024 summer collection release tomorrow join us anytime after 12 12 30 we're gonna have some fruits fresh from the farmers market how about that and we will hang out for a little while I'll demo some products I really want to demo the hydrocast from Illumilite I want you to see how that is it's an amazing cool new way to cast your molds and we will also have a setup of all the brand new iron orchid design products I know you can't wait to see those you don't even know what you don't know it's going to be phenomenal I promise this is the one if you were ever going to attend one of our luncheons with a demo and playtime after this is the one you don't want to miss Christmas is coming you don't want to miss that one either so make your RSVP go on our website and sign up for the 2024 spring collection launch party it's on there I put it up a couple of days ago please make sure you RSVP so I have all of your materials prepared for you to play we will watch the iron orchid design sisters at 1 p.m. Eastern time do their release video and then we will go to town working and playing and learning and sharing and laughing because that's what we do make your mistakes here so when you go home you don't make your mistakes with your own products make them with mine I'm totally okay with that in the meantime today we are starting a new project getting it ready so we can demo the new products on it that's all I can say about that we have done our Sun catchers this week I've got one sitting over here waiting for some more dry time I've got one sitting here that I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more zhuzh to you know zhuzh it's the cool stuff in the meantime we have this super duper old and I don't mean a little bit old I mean super old tea cart now someone is going to get furious with me if you do just don't get so mad that you can't deal with yourself this is early 1900s um, this is what the wheels look like the tires totally melted off of it <laughs> I think if I take these outside today in South Carolina the rest of that rubber will just melt away but we've got to get this off and that's gonna be a booger we've got two wheels that look just like this but guess what look closely that is beautiful wood that is brass this is amazing the wheels are even wooden with melted rubber and they don't roll real well and not only do we have wonky wheels we have a beautiful glass serving tray that goes on top of it isn't that lovely I think it's absolutely stunning and it's locked down in there it has the gorgeous wooden trim molding that holds it in it has the brads with deteriorated rubber around it and that's what you use to set on top of the tea cart this is so beautiful we'll set this to the side as well and then we have the tea cart you can even see on the top where something has sat for so long it's dry it has uh, some drips on it that I'm gonna have to razor blade off 
It's discolored. It's so cool. It does have the handle that you can drop back down. And um, this is just a really neat piece. We're going to go green. We're going to go green for a really good reason. Once I'm done, you'll understand. If it makes you mad, I'm sorry. But this piece has been in here for a good little minute. And it is time for it to get dressed up for the dance. So, let's get it done. I'm going to go ahead and prep the top and check for damage as I go. Now, it's wobbly right now, so I'm holding on real carefully. We're going to take that other wheel out from under it. When I do, it's going to set down. It's going to set down really wonky, but it'll be okay, I promise. Now, I'm going to take my razor blade. Since I prepped, these drips will be a little bit easier to just kind of scrape off the top. There we go. And one more good wipe down and that's gone. Beautiful, beautiful wood. What you can't see on the camera is where the wood has, the finish on the wood has kind of done its little crocodile thing where the wood product has cracked. It's not terrible, it's not so bad that I feel like I need to um, sand it or scrape it. I may, once this prep is dry, I may take the carbide scraper and scrape this smooth because I want a nice smooth finish on it. We're going to use one of the brand new Iron Orchid Design products and I want it to look spectacular. So I may scrape this down. Now to do what I need to do, I'm gonna take my cushion and lay it down in front of the tea cart so that when I tip it over to take the wheel off, it, um, it's not on the concrete. Now, <clears throat> let me tip you a little bit more. You see all the workings here? I had to glue this back on because this piece was broken off, which is why that wheel won't stay in. The hole is wallowed out badly. Um, this has been repaired before. You can see up close where the wood was cracked off. So they used, you know, they were so inventive back in the day. They just used a piece of metal and conformed it to the tea cart and they really literally just nailed this in. Four nails on both sides and that put it together. So there's the second wheel and you can see most of the rubber is completely gone. There's only one little bitter section left and it is, that's all we've got left right there of the rubber. But these wheels, y'all, so amazing. So absolutely amazing. I love the workmanship of the early century. We definitely don't have anything like this these days. You cannot go to Ikea and get this sort of product. We're going to hose it down really well with our prep. And then we'll wipe it down and we'll get started. The big wheels are not in bad shape. Um, there's even a tag on here. This is from Palman Furniture Company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And there's a big old pile of what looks like glue down here on the bottom. I don't know, it could be coffee, could be creamer. It's something that we definitely want to get off there. I don't want to lose that tag off the bottom of this if I can help it but I don't know that I'm going to be able to salvage it I hear people I see the comments all the time about how 
we're ruining classic furniture, you know, we should be, listen, this furniture, if you appreciate it and you want it refinished, refurbished properly, it's right here. And I'm going to refinish it beautifully. I'm going to refinish it with classic style. Furniture has been being painted for as long as furniture has been being built. So I do not have conscience about it. And if you don't want it painted, come right now and put your money on the front counter. I'll send it home with you and find another project. But past these moments, shush it. Because when I finish this and we put the brand new product on it, it is going to be stunning. It's going to live an amazing new life. And it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And well appreciated. For the quality, for the workmanship, for the color, for the design. And it's going to go to a great home. I'm positive. All right. Anytime I paint something, oh, that has work that needs to be done on the bottom, I try to flip it over and start on the bottom first. That way it's a little bit easier to access. And once I'm done, I can flip it over and go to the top. Easy, peasy. This is going to be great. I am going to put a drop cloth down and take this off the cushion because you see on the cushion it wobbles. I, I love the cushion because it keeps a cushion, but it does make it wobble and we don't want wobbly. Shoo! Let me grab a drop cloth, y'all. This is the one I want. This is a nice, thick, old tablecloth, and it no longer served the purpose because it was stained. But guess what it does now? It makes a beautiful drop cloth. So let's set this over. Let me make sure I've got this spread out, and I'll move the seat cushion. Perfect. Let's get cracking. So our color of the day is our mix. This is forest. This is 50-50 pine shadow and midnight. This is from the Rethunk Junk Paint by Laura Color Recipe Collection. 50% pine shadow, 50% midnight in any combination that you need. If you need 32 ounces, mix a pint of each color. If you need more than that, mix a quart. Use one of our handy measuring cups to do the job. Look at that yummy color. Look how beautiful that is. I, I adore this color. And it does an amazing job. I just put the paintbrush that I want over here for Ariel. Dun, dun, dun. She's not she's not at work yet, so we're gonna grab her paintbrush. I'm gonna use my one inch brush. I also have out my miracle sponge. I really prefer my stain pads to my miracle sponge, but you see that nice little groove right there? This does a great job when you're working on a project like this where especially on the wheels where we have all those spindles to cover. This is going to do that job really well. So that's what we're going to use there. While I am not going to paint the underside, 
Let's see if we can get, let's see if this is loose enough now. It is, and it does. It looks like 100 year old coffee and creamer. Can you imagine? It's not glue. It's food product, y'all. There we go. Give it a little scrape. That prep loosened it nicely, so it's out. It's off there. I'll put that more over here. We just spilled coffee all over the place. There we go. And it's gone. Just like that. All right, prep does an amazing job. I'll clean that again, but we are going to paint these braces because they do show. I'll paint this brace. We'll do the wheels while we're down here. We do have some smushed rubber on here. We've got a flat spot. It's just because of its age. So I will be careful. Here's the, here's the matching flat spot. I'll be careful about putting the um, paint on so I don't get it on the rubber, but clearly we will have to replace that rubber as well. All right, let's go to it. We're going to pine forest this, and then on Friday, on tomorrow, when we do the big launch party, this will look completely different. It will be absolutely stunning. I'm not going to hide the fact that this was repaired previously. It's 120 some years old, y'all. I know some 60 years old, 60 year olds and 40 year olds that are walking around with plastic surgery and reconstructive surgery, whether it was necessary or not. When you get that old, things happen, things come apart, <laughs> and you have to put them back together. This, no exception absolutely no exception that's going to be absolutely beautiful i'm going to go ahead and do our edging while i'm right here i'm not trying to cover in one coat i am going to do this in two coats so don't look for this to be covered all at one time it's just not going to happen spindles what spindles they don't bother me at all just Get some paint on there, gently and smoothly. Don't do the slapping thing, especially if you have other furniture near you, because then whatever you're painting, uh, that will be the color that's splattered all over your other work. So carefully, we will move around the spindles. And once we're done, they'll be smooth and beautiful. You'll love the finish. I love this color, and if you love greens, this is a rich, yummy, foresty green. It's perfect for spring, summer, fall, and winter projects. It really is. This is a great color for your Christmas. This is a great color for your fall projects. Spring, it might be a little bit dark. Everything's really light green and little tea in spring. This is rich. If you're trying to replicate some of that 1980s hunter green furniture, this is your color. It's not the same, but it will do in a pinch. All right, let me turn the table so I can get you to the wheel. And let's see... I can probably do the brush on this without having to use the miracle sponge, but I might, uh, we'll see. Let's see how this goes. Slowly and easy. There we go. Got a little on the rubber right there. Let me wipe that back. All right. No 
drips, no runs. Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on your edges. go just like that we've gone around the circle are you loving the color throw some likes or laughy faces or even some hearts throw them out there and if you cannot wait if you're so super excited about the iron orchid designs launch tomorrow make sure if you're local only that you make your reservation for our luncheon and our demos and our playtime. I did not separate the two this time. If you're here for the luncheon, you're here for the learning. It's all inclusive. It's like a resort package, but crafty. It's just like that. There's no swimming pool though. We can turn on a sprinkler. We're going to be inside in the air conditioning is what we're going to be. With the fans on, happy as larks. With paint and products and materials to work with. And I think you are going to love, love what there is to offer this time. I could be wrong. You might hate it. I don't think so, though. If you were looking for something different, this is it. This is your time. Our refund Junk Paint Color of the Week this week is available. And we have our special offer. If you have your studio bag, you get a little bit better deal. If you don't have your studio bag yet, make sure you get one before tomorrow. Studio bag holders who come to the luncheon will get some extra little surcies to go in their bag, but you have to have your bag before you come to the luncheon. What do you think about that color? Can you see it real well? Scott told me yesterday sometimes he can't see real well and it's a matter of placement of the camera and it's it's hard sometimes to change where the camera's sitting. But I will share pictures with you as we go along and get finished. I sure will. I love the E of painting with the Rethunk Junk Paint by Laura. The no sanding if you don't need to, that is a boon. I like that. That saves me a ton of time. And you know what? If you're a new painter or you're only doing some work for yourself in your home, your kitchen cabinets, those things don't require a professional painter and thousands and thousands of dollars all the time. If you're pretty handy, crafty, and love to do things, you can use this paint to do almost anything. Now, I love to do art furniture, and by doing the art furniture, I do use this paint in so many different ways. I do sand sometimes because I need to, and I use my carbide scraper every chance I get. But this is the simplest paint product I've ever worked with. And it does an amazing job. It has fabulous coverage, nice and smooth finishes. So make sure that you try this out sometime. Friday and Saturday, we will have the studio open for our lunch.
luncheon and our launch party. If you want to participate with that, please do. If you're interested in doing a sun catcher anytime after one o'clock on Friday, absolutely. Come on over. We'll set you up. You can do your own sun catcher just like we've done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And if you want to stay for the luncheon and the learn with the brand new products, we'll make your RSVP and we'll get you a seat at the table. Saturday, 10 till 2, 10 a.m. until 2 p.m., Sun Catchers. Make sure you're here for that. I'm going to pop out of here because I hear the doorbell just are ringing outside and I need to go see who's visiting. Is it you? Did you come to see me? Can't wait to say hello. Stop by Two Girls Treasure in Florence, South Carolina anytime Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. I'm in the studio this morning going green. I'll share some pictures with you later and then tomorrow when we are ready for the launch, this beautiful Century Tea Cart is going to look stunning. Wait till you see what we're going to do with it. I'm Diane Pruitt. Thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate you so very much. Have a blessed and wonderful day. I hope it's full of love and laughter and productivity for everyone. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I will see you right back here tomorrow morning as we're going to prep one more piece for the demo tomorrow afternoon. Y'all take care. Bye now.